Hey everyone, welcome to question one associated with the lecture on confidence intervals, type one and two errors and p-values. As usual, I recommend that you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see if you did it correctly. So in this case, two studies were done to evaluate for a possible association between smoking and disease X with the following results. So we see with study one has an odds ratio of 2.4 and a 95% confidence interval of 0.8 to 4.0. Study two had an odds ratio of 2.4 with a 95% confidence interval from 1.6 to 3.0. And we're asked, what is likely different between the two studies? So if you recall from the lecture, if a 95% confidence interval includes the null value, then it is not a statistically significant result. And because we're looking at an odds ratio, which is a ratio measure in this case, x over y with x equaling y, we would expect the null hypothesis to be an odds ratio of one. And therefore, study one, because it extends from 0.8 to 4.0, crosses one and is not statistically significant. Whereas study two goes from 1.6 to 3.0, does not cross one, and therefore is statistically significant. And we're basically asked to interpret, even though they got the same point estimate, why, was study, why did study two have a narrower confidence interval allowing statistical significance to be achieved. And if we recall, for a confidence interval, we have the point estimate plus or minus standard error times 1.96. You know, we know the point estimate is the same between the two studies. This 1.96 is static. And we remember that standard error is standard deviation over square root of n. So given that study two had a more narrow confidence interval, we would expect study two to have a smaller standard error. And in order for study two to have a smaller standard error, assuming somewhat equal standard deviations, it would need to have a higher sample size. So an assumption that can be made in this case, given that the two studies had the same point estimate, but study two had a much narrower confidence interval, is that study two has a larger sample size. I've seen this type of question come up a few times on MBME practice materials. So this is a, this is a concept they definitely want you to know. If you had trouble with this, I recommend going back and rewatching the lecture. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.